All right, guys. Um, so I'm starting something new on the channel. Um, where I just want to show off really strong rotations, or just rotations that I like to run one or the other. Um, in my favorite rotation in the game, like ever since the Super Saiyan fours originally came out. Well, yes, since the LR Super Saiyan fours came out, right? Those are the ones I'm talking about. Um, ever since this guy came out, just the two Super Saiyan four Gokus together have been insane. Uh, because they activate pretty much every link. Uh, they both hit insanely hard. They both have decent defense. Ooh, and we let off with their best rotation, too. Um, so here they have 33% support. Um, and on top of that, pretty much everyone on this rotation shares the exact same link set. Um, so we're going to lead off with the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, just because I like his attack animation better um, than the LR. The LR super attack animation, that's the thing, that's their worst like part about them. Everything else about them is good. 2.7 million damage from just this TR. Like, that's going to be close to what the LR does. Um, now, I should say this. Uh, my LR has one dupe, and so does the friend LR. Um, and my TUR, um, like, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku has two dupes, I think. Or three dupes. I should actually probably check that. Um, but just using them both together is so good. It would be a lot better um, if the LR Super Saiyan 4s still had um, shocking speed. So... My full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku only has two dupes. That is one thing I should keep in mind. Um, and then also on this other rotation, you can just have the other, like, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and then the LR, the other LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Like, this team, you can fill it with any other units you want to. I like to fill it up with support other than the, like, Super Saiyan 4s, but it's just so much fun. And it makes me realize how much I'm, like, looking forward to a possible Super Saiyan 4 category team. I mean, I know it sounds like there wouldn't be anything on it, but, like, because Global's been getting Dragon Ball Heroes stuff, like, we could see Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, just a whole lot of stuff on that team. And remember, like, there's still Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta that's not on this team. So, with all of that, there's enough for Super Saiyan 4 category. And I'm I'm here for that, by the way. Like, I don't know. That that sounds really hyped to me. Uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4s always weird me out, though, because their 18 key Super Attack animation is trash. It is very bad. Um... But their 12 key super animation is so much better. Look at this animation. Like, it's not the best animation in the game or anything, but it's so much better than their 18 key, and I wish that I could switch it out. Because with them, it's so easy for them to get their 18 key super animation, well, super attack. Um, and because it does so much more damage, and for Vegeta it raises defense, for Goku it makes them hit harder. Like, you always want to get that 18 key, but it's like, I really just like to watch the other animation. Uh, here Vegeta does actually have more defense, even though Vegeta is only on a 120% lead. Um, so, you know, that's something. Now, another thing about this team is it's really fast. Um, just because I filled it up with, it's pretty much our rotations and then three floating support type units. So, it can get events done pretty quick. I'm not sure I'm going to run all the way through this event, but even if I did, it probably wouldn't take more than, like, what, 20 minutes? Um, but I'm not sure if I'm here for all that. I just wanted to talk to you guys about like my favorites uh like rotations or whatever um another rotation i want to do a video on is the tech beerus and lr beerus because i did show off lr beerus probably about two months ago at this point um but at the time i didn't have tech easy beerus which i'm kind of embarrassed to say that uh but i have since pulled him uh so i can do a video on that rotation finally um which I think is pretty good, but I also think it's aged since Tech Beerus originally got his Easy A. Because I remember when that rotation first came out, like right after Tech Beerus got his Easy A, it was like insane. But the thing is, Tech Beerus can kind of get hit hard. He doesn't hit insanely hard unless you have him rainbowed, because obviously he's one of those um, original Easy A units who gets uh, plus like 7,000. Or for him, it would be like 7,500 to attack um, from the hidden potential system. So if you don't have him like full hidden potential system, uh, he's only so good. Um, here we're going to use the active skill. Um, this should do a lot of damage because here we do have type advantage over the Android 17. I don't think it'll finish him off, but I think it could. No, but it did do over half of his health, which is good. And then obviously Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta and Goku can finish him off on this turn. Um, one thing I want you guys, anyone who's listening right now, which is probably no one if I'm being honest. Um, anyone who's listening right now, let me know if you want me to do uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, like series on the channel because i was really thinking about it but also i did just kind of want through want to run through the game one time by myself without like the pressure of having to talk um but i am having a lot of fun i'm not right now i haven't even made it to the cell games yet i'm like almost 
I'm probably like 33 hours in or something, and I haven't even made it to the Cell games yet. I'm really taking my time with this. Um, if I were to do like a playthrough, it would definitely be like a little faster. Like I'd watch all the cutscenes, but I wouldn't do any side stuff. Whereas right now, at least what I'm doing with Kakarot is like, I will do like one main story mission, and then I'll do all the side stuff I possibly can do, and then I'll do a main story mission, and then if there's any new side stuff, I'll do that. So that's why Kakarot's been taking me a long time on my own. Um, also, let me know if there's any like other just like console games you want me to do. Um, I was thinking about doing a playthrough of uh, Spider-Man PS4. That's a really good game. Horizon Zero Dawn, another. Horizon Zero Dawn might be one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I know it's not often on this channel where I talk about anything other than like Dragon Ball or even Dokkan for that matter. Um, but you know, there is more to my life than that, <laughs> believe it or not. Not much more, but <laughs> there is. Um, so let me know what other kinds of content you'd want to see. Maybe a sports vlog, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff I've been thinking about. Um, me and my cousin, um, if you go back to, we did some Madden videos, we did some Xenoverse videos, um, and the Transforming Namek Super Saiyan Goku, on that original banner, he was, if you want to go check those out, any of those videos, um, he was in all of those, and I was thinking about starting a podcast with him. Let me know what you guys would think about that. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, feel free to go check those videos out. Um, the Xenoverse videos were pretty funny, even though I didn't, I meant to edit them more, um, but at the time I had a lot going on, just like with my personal life, so I didn't have enough time to fully edit them like I wanted to, um, oh, we didn't encounter this, the only thing about the Super Saiyan 4s is I wish they were all like Gogeta, where they had like a much higher chance of countering supers than they do, uh, but I guess what are you gonna do, yeah, there is a text that was actually much lower, uh, cause remember, the way full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku works is, um, pretty much the higher your HP is, the more attack he gets. So right now, he's getting a very minimal part of his passive. I should check his defense, I guess, though, because he does also get less defense the lower your HP is. So, right now his defense would actually be really, really low. Like, if we weren't going up against an AGL type, he would actually take a lot of damage. Uh, here, Super Saiyan 4 Goku does actually finally have more defense, even before he supers. <laughs> um... If we get super attacked and we don't counter, we're going to die. But also, I feel like he deserves to win if we get supered and we don't counter. Okay, this is Dokkan mode, but it's also 12 keys, so... I guess I'll do it, but I don't know if it's going to do any damage at all. Okay, this is going so slow, I almost missed it. Okay, here is attack stat is 2.1 million still. Like, I don't run teams like this very often, where it's like... I'll have two main rotations, and then the re the other three units are floaters. But teams like this do work really, really well. Like, you've seen, like, if you get an 18-key super with the Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, they'll be over a 4 million attack stat, which, I mean, just every single turn is insane. Uh, here, I guess we can check out... Uh, okay, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku's defense isn't great, but it also could be worse. Um, here, we'll just give him that Antorb. And even though the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku does have um, type disadvantage here, once he supers, he's going to have so much defense that it's not really going to matter. Um, so full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku here with probably still a top 5 animation in the game, even though he came out like 2 years ago at this point. Um, ooh, nice double. Um, and doing decent damage, not like crazy damage or anything. Um, and then LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku with a 3.97 million attack stat. Um... One thing that's kind of crazy about that LR Super Battle Road Reward Goku is that um, if you get below 50% HP, oh, we countered this. Can we crit, though? If we crit, we might finish this off here. 1.1 million attack set on a counter. Okay. Yeah, if we were to crit, we would have finished that off. Um, anyways, like I was saying, uh, one crazy thing about this Super Battle Road Reward Goku is if you get below 50% HP, he gives the whole rotation 50% attack and defense and 2 key. Um, now if you don't, he just gives them 2 key and 30%, which is still a decent support type buff, uh, but it's nothing to, like, write home about. Um, so if we could, I would like to dip below that threshold. Um, I guess here I probably could finish this run up. Uh, I'm not sure if I, ooh, that's a lot of damage. 3.99 million, so close. Ooh, we almost finished him off. The oh, and he's healing. Okay, this is this is getting upsetting. Um, you know, whatever. I think I will finish this up in this video. Just because I think this might be a new record for this event. Because most of the time, if I run one of the Infinite Dragon Ball History events... Okay. 
I said this might be a record, and then right on cue, this guy transforms. This is the worst part about this unit, by far, is the fact that he can transform. Um, I guess if he was going to transform, this would be the place to do it, though, where he has type advantage. Um, but either way, like, there's no way he's going to out-damage, like, all the Super Saiyan 4s. <sighs> you know, it'd be really cool if they did, like, a S Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, like, with the same name as this guy. And then, like, he had, like, after the second turn, he had, like, a 20% chance of turning into Great Ape. And if he turned into Great Ape, after he untransformed, he would be Super Saiyan 4. Ooh, that's kind of a good idea. Um, I would not be surprised if they did that eventually. I mean, it wasn't even a year ago when we got this. Well, I don't know when this is coming out, to be honest. Um, but at the time of me recording this, it wasn't even a year ago when the LR Super Saiyan Force came out. So I'm not sure if it's going to be that soon. But I could see within the next, like, year, year and a half, we get a new Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. And, like, he can transform into Giant Ape. And then after he transforms into Giant Ape, he goes Super Saiyan 4. I think that would be really interesting. Alright, now please let this transformation only last for two turns. Don't stay for another turn, because I think he can, but that would just suck. Okay. <sighs> I know that I don't have face cam, but I'm, uh, I'm just over here checking my watch that I don't have. Okay, here we go, finally. Um, we do have the active skill here. Uh, whatever, I'll just use the active skill, why not? Um, I think if I use the active skill, we can actually probably finish this off this turn. And then there should be one more stage after this, I think. Um, because this is just perfect form cell. Um, and then after this, he just goes perfect cell. Okay, 2.7 million. That's a lot of damage. Uh, you know, quoting the great Phil Swift. Alright, now I probably should have used an item there, to be honest. Oh, 83k. We're probably going to die here. Uh, unless we get, like, a double super crit, we're probably dead. Oh, I didn't expect ultra full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku to take that much damage. But also, I guess most of the time when I take... Oh, we countered a super. Okay, so we are going to live this. Uh, most of the time when I take on this event, I take it on with, like, units who stack up defense. Um, and because of that, I'm not used to taking, like, that much damage from normals. Okay, so next rotation, I am going to have to use an item. But I do still think this could be, like, my fastest time, depending on the type. Ooh. It's tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is not going to be, like, a new record run or anything. I'm actually going to finish off this video here. Because he's tech. Like, three of my four hard hitters on this team are EGL. And because of that, I think I'm just going to finish this up here. Um, now, this team is really fun, really good. Definitely try running it if you have, like, all the units. I know, like, a summonable LR, um, and then two Dokkan Fest. Like, it's not, I guess because, like, everyone summoned on the four-year anniversary banner, it's not that difficult to think that you would have, um, LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, but I feel like this guy might be the hardest one out of all of them to get. Well, not the hardest, but, like, the one that the least amount of people might have. Um, but definitely, if you can run a variant of this team, it's really fun. Um, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. My name is Blahoo, and I'll see you guys next time.